Massachusetts is dealing with high demand to locate existing utility lines. This comes as companies work to install new fiber optic internet lines. As KLTV7's Mariella Gonzalez reports, the increased demand is forcing the Public Works Department to ask for additional help. Across Nacogdoches, drivers may see active road work and pin flags placed into the ground. City of Nacogdoches Public Works Director Steve Bartlett says there are four broadband telecommunication companies installing fiber optic lines all over town. Bartlett says call volumes have risen by over 400 calls a month to locate existing water and sewer lines. And he's expecting that number to increase to up to 600 a month. We are unable to keep up with that call volume. When you call 811, we have 48 hours to get out and locate this. And we're unable to meet that demand. And with only one locator on staff, Bartlett says. It's really critical to our service and it's an essential function to keep our services going for the public. The proposals include a budget amendment to pull from the city's reserve funds to negotiate a contract with the U.S. infrastructure company, which already handles locating gas and phone lines. What we want to do is be able to supervise this more, have more folks on the ground to be able to be responsive to hopefully almost virtually eliminate those strikes. A strike refers to any time an existing utility line is damaged and needs repair. The contract is not to exceed $125,000. The proposal shows it would cost the city $62,500 to contract with the U.S. infrastructure company for the rest of this fiscal year. The other half is to be used for next year's budget. The Public Works Department says the duration of the contract is expected to be three to four years.